Hello ladies and so do you gentlemen, in this tutorial I will show you uh, how can we upload file and uh, save the file in database by using Spring Boot application and also by using jQuery X. Uh, you can find a lot of good tutorials, for example, this one is very good. And uh, I will, you will have link of this tutorial in video description. Uh, for now, I will show you only AX part. And uh, if you try to do job by using this piece of code, the problem can be next. For example, uh, the response can be the current request is not multi-part request. So instead of this uh, part of Ajax code, we will use uh, jQuery plugin. And link of this uh, plugin you will also have in video description. Once you hear all that you have to do is to press Ctrl S, save this file and then copy this file at the same location where you have a jQuery file. This is our jQuery plugin which will help us to upload image, for example, and save the image in data base. OK, this is our form. For now, we have only one field. And this is the field type file, which can help us to upload certain file. And I will sh also show you, as you can see, the action attribute has value register form handler, method post, and you should also have this uh, attribute ink type multi-part form data. A lot of stuff in this tutorial I will not show you, like I said, uh, because the main code you can find on this tutorial. Uh, and a lot of stuff I show you in previous tutorials and the next tutorials, but some of them are not public. Okay. As you can see, this is the request and this is our register controller, which accepts this request. And this is the method. Uh, as you can see here, we've got post mapping. So it means that this uh, method handles post request. Here we've got response entity and the value is register form handler that we can see in our form as a part of action attribute. OK, but like I said, instead of this AX code, we will try to do something else. Uh, this is the AX code, which help us to upload file. Here we have two important functions, before send and upload progress. And here we selected two elements. The first one has a ID prog, like a progress, because we will be able to see the progress of uploading. And second one has a percent ID, uh, which will show, show us how many percent of files, files is currently uploaded. So it help us to do that, this function, upload progress. Uh, this is the function of our jQuery plugin that we uploaded. And in our register form, we have two elements. The first is progress element, 
with progress bar and the second one element is with id percent okay in our register controller this is the method which accept multi-part request and if file is empty we will return message please select a file blah 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 like i said a lot of this code you can find on this tutorial and this is application properties with certain settings for example the maximum file size is 10 megabyte you can also specify the location where file will be uploaded you can do it in application properties file or you can do that in this way so upload this folder this is the folder where file will be uploaded of course we our model uh, is user and here we use user service to get connection with uh, certain interface repository because we also use spring data jpa but like i said i will not too much explain the code for the first time we will use only one field and there's the file field a lot of people knows that uh, spring boot application you can start it as a java application uh, you must find the main class uh, because uh, we already have embedded container by default it is tomcat but you can set some other servlet container like jetty never mind so right click on our main class and choose run as java application and uh, now you can see this spring logo and uh, blah 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 everything has started okay as you can see tom get started on port 8081 like we specified in our application properties okay and now let's see if our application works okay register and here we've got four with only one field let's choose for example a picture of this main open or register and you can see successfully uploaded 100 percent okay let's check the location so this picture should be uploaded in this image folder but first let me refresh project and now we should have as you can see we have this file also uploaded but let's check our database here is our database and here we've got table user and as you can see the file is saved in our database okay and now let's try to include other fields so let me uncomment this field and this field 
Okay, save changes and now e register controller. Let's try to accept the values of these fields. So I will remove this. I will comment I will comment this part and uncomment this part. Okay. OK, save all changes and let me application reload context. Blah, 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 blah. OK. Let's refresh our application. And now we have Name field, for example, Mickey password. E. Let me choose this image, open, register, successfully uploaded. Okay. Let's check. Here we've got four files. When we refresh our project, we should get. OK. We can see that file is uploaded. And let's check database. Refresh. And as you can see, new user is added with ID 2. It is enabled. This is name. This is image. This is password, encrypted password, because we use encryptor algorithm. OK, ladies and gentlemen, that's all. Like I said, you should pay attention on these two functions. And that's it. That's all for this tutorial. If you want more, you know what you should do if you want. That's all from me. Thanks for watching.